everybody, welcome back to the channel. So, boy Shingy, as usually, you already know what it is. And if you don't know what it is, that means you're not subscribed to one of the coolest uh, film photography channels on YouTube. And you probably should hit the subscribe button because we do a lot of cool things on this channel. But with that being said, I'm very excited to do this video because it's going to cater to some new gen and some new photographers that are looking to get into film. And it's very exciting because film is something really important that has helped me grow as a photographer. And I'm very excited to share the film world to especially the young to especially the younger generation that are looking to get into this that don't have the history or know how to pick a film camera so with that being said today's video is how to pick an slr but before we get started guys i wanted to mention something this is totally subjective this is subjective to me as a photographer and to just my taste in my knowledge after owning a bunch of film cameras. So it's going to be very subjective. This is not the only way you can pick a film camera. Any film camera is gonna pretty much do it. But there's certain criteria that I kind of think about before I pick a film camera. And that's what we're gonna to touch on today. So with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Oh yeah, so the first thing that I consider whenever I was picking up film camera and over time that I was kind of taught by my mentors about photography is picking the right camera. So what's the right camera? The right camera to me is a camera that always is going to work and a camera that just is very, very reliable. And what makes a film camera very reliable is its functionality. So this camera is a mechanical camera. So if you're a beginner and you're looking to have a camera that is gonna last you, that's always gonna work, and you don't need a battery in it, and it's just constantly going to work and you're gonna just always get your photographs, I highly suggest looking into a mechanical camera. So this is one of the mechanical cameras. This is actually my first camera. I love this camera, really amazing. Uh, this is the Konica Auto Reflex T3. Funny enough, this is a very cheap camera, so under $100, which is really amazing because it takes Hexanon lenses, and these lenses are some of the most legendary lenses ever created. They're super sharp, and they produce amazing colors. And if, that, if, if that's not enough for you, what else do you want? But with that being said, the fact that it's a mechanical camera, guys, it doesn't need batteries. It's always working, so you can practically just load your film right now. Just open it up, load your film in there, and then close it up, and then just shoot. But the uh, no, one of the bad things about owning a mechanical camera, guys, is that a lot of mechanical cameras don't have a built-in light meter or the light meter does not work. If you wanna bypass the whole light meter situation, there are apps on your phone, like the Lux app. I'm gonna put it over here somewhere, over here. I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but there's a Lux app and that app is pretty much a light meter. And all you gotta do is just point it and then click and you're gonna get all the readings. And then on your camera, that's where you're gonna be switching all the readings. So most film cameras, if you wanna change your aperture, it's usually on the ring around the camera over here here so over over here right here that's where you're probably gonna get that and if you want to change your shutter speed it's gonna be usually on the dial up here that's practically it when you're picking your, your film that's when you're gonna get your ISO lower ISO means less grain but it's gonna be a sharper image but also there's gonna be uh, less light you're gonna be able to allow in but we're gonna talk about all those things in the next video okay and we're not gonna touch on them right now but with that being said that does not mean there are no other cameras there's also other other cameras that take batteries like these ones and the cool thing about these types of cameras is that you're gonna get a built-in light meter and if you're very lucky you're gonna get autofocus like this camera it's just a Pentax MZ6 uh, this one has autofocus so if you want to be lazy and you just want to like just go out and shoot and just have fun and have your SLR be a point and shoot and just shoot whatever you want without thinking about it then you can pick one of these cameras these cameras are just automatic cameras but again the downside of these cameras guys that will they'll jam and they'll just have malfunctions over time because let's be honest these cameras are over like 20 years 30 years 40 years even i know this one's probably like more than like 50 years old but we're not gonna disregard the fact that these ones are also just as good so the cool things about these ones they have auto exposure and the other thing is they have all the cool settings of new digital cameras. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> so they have all the cool things that digital cameras have and they could light up and stuff as well. So you could pick a face, you could pick the landscape and it's gonna read for you the perfect lighting for that perfect situation. And they also have focus assist. So let's say you have a lens that does not, for example, let's actually switch this lens so that you guys get to know exactly what I'm talking about. 
So let's say we got one of these lenses, one of these vintage lenses that are really, really cool and they have a lot of character. You could just put this lens on. This one does not have auto focus, but the cool things about these, these kind of cameras is that if you put it in manual focus like so, and you also put the beep on when you're focusing, right? Let's see, let's see, where, where, where can I do this? Let's go in manual mode. When you're focusing, when you're trying to focus, you're gonna hear a little beep. Just like that. That's called a focus assist. It's really, really cool. So you're not gonna really miss focus if you have one of these vintage lenses, which is really, really awesome. So that's something to also keep in mind when you're picking these cameras. Well, like I saw a really cool thing about having an electronic camera is that most of the time it's gonna come with a built-in flash, which is really, really cool. As opposed to the mechanical one, you're gonna need an external flash. But with this guy, you don't need an external flash. You just, it comes with a built-in flash and it usually just works all the time. But do keep in mind again, guys, that these cameras are old because it's electronical, the flash might be broken, right? So that's something to also consider that the flash is working. So when you're going to buy one, make sure that the flash is working if you want the flash to be working. But other than that, um, you're gonna need an external flash if you go with the mechanical camera. And I can tell you that about 99% of the time, you're definitely going to need an external flash. But this guy comes with the flash. But the thing is also, these flashes are not that strong. So we're not gonna give it too many points about that, okay? I'm still going with the mechanical camera because it looks cool and it looks really nice. And the other cool thing is, most of these cameras are gonna be very small because they're electronical. They don't need a lot of components. They don't need a lot of stuff. So because they don't need a lot of stuff, they're more compact just as opposed to this guy. You know, this one is a lot bigger, a lot heavier. This one's a lot smaller. And that's the other negative thing about the mechanical camera, guys. Like, they're quite heavy. They're very, very heavy. As opposed to these guys that are electronical, they're not as heavy, but because again, they're electronical, they could break on you. I had multiple ones break on me before. That's why I'm so keen on talking about them breaking, okay? Because that's something very, very big. And I take my photography very seriously, especially as a professional. And you don't want to continue spending money on these cameras. But again, this is such a subjective opinion. You're not going to go wrong picking any film camera, guys. But again, this is, again, so subjective to me. And um, we don't want to rule that out and not say that is a thing because it is definitely a thing <laughs> i'm very i'm very picky I'm, I'm very much favoring the mechanical cameras <laughs> so just name a couple of mechanical cameras i really highly recommend is the conical auto reflex t3 and the pentax spotmatic those are the two cameras that i own and i actually use and they're really amazing and i highly recommend the cheap and the lens collection is crazy good like i'm talking like really really awesome and really really good and these cameras are going to last you forever and the cool thing about the vintage uh, mechanical cameras they always look really cool and old so if you're somebody like me that loves aesthetic you're gonna love these cameras because they just really look aesthetically pleasing so here's the pentax formatic sounds really oh, it sounds so freaking good if you like my opinion and you like what I just said, and you want to know more about me, um, follow the channel, and I do a lot of cool photo vlogs where I go out and I take photographs and stuff. With that being said, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, please and thank you. It really helps the channel grow. And if you don't like this video, give it a thumbs down and uh, leave a comment. Tell me what camera you're gonna decide to pick and uh, what camera do you already have. And if you guys want me to continue with the series, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you guys want me to do for point and shoots as well, instead of SLR cameras, let me know. Cause maybe I'll pick up a point and shoot and start talking about those. Cause I've owned a few point and shoots. And point and shoots, they're very hard to pick because you have to consider a lot of things. But okay, we're not gonna get too, too much into this. But with that being said, thank you guys again for tuning in. You're amazing. And if you guys wanna check me out on Instagram, it's shot by Shingy on everything. Uh, shot by Shingy.com, shot by Shingy on Instagram. And also, uh, if you wanna check out this really cool shoot film shirt, it's www.waybetterco.com. And if you guys wanna show me your film photos that you're gonna take, follow on hashtag at WePhotoGods. But with that being said, thank you guys so much. Deuces, bye.